Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're starting a new campaign. We are playing as Poland. And we are going for the Polish achievements, which are... Uh, the Winged Hussars, which is have Winged Hussars as your active unit with more than plus 50% cavalry combat ability. Um, they also have Poland Can Into Space, which is the namesake of the campaign, which is as Poland reach maximum level in all institution or all technologies. So it's going to be a long campaign, that's for sure. And finally, One King Two Roll, as Poland become an absolutist monarchy, abolishing the Sejm, which. We will work on that as well. So, that is our plan. We'll try and do some other achievements as we can go as well. Especially considering that, um, you know, we are going to be playing for quite a while as Poland. So, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, double check our missions. We have... Slotch of Loyalty 65 or greater with 5 privileges currently granted to them. And then based on that we can get some other stuff. We have Varna Aftermath which we need to get our army up. We need to either ally or rival Hungary and Bohemia. And depending on that we can get Restoration of Union CBs on Hungary and Bohemia which we definitely want those Restoration of Union CBs. So let's go ahead with our rivalries and we will rival Hungary, we will rival Bohemia, and we will rival the Teutons because we should be going to war with them pretty quickly as well. We'll go ahead and uh, we can use our... Um, what is this? Oh, I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> anyway, we'll start our debate and we will go with crown land ownership or advisor. I think we'll go with the crown lands actually. So basically we're spending two crown lands to gain three. All right, that'll boost us up a little bit. And then we can go ahead and take a state agenda. And uh, I think Papal States is good. We can seize land. And then we will go ahead and give out the plus one mana point privileges. And we need to watch the influence level of these guys. So we don't want to get them too high. Um, we'll go ahead and do Patron of the Arts, Commercial Advisory Board, and Indebted to the Burgers here. With the Clergy, we can do Clerical Advisory Council and Religious Diplomats. And then I will also throw out the Monopoly on Wool for the time being. And then with the Slotcha... Maybe throw out the Monopolies. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to revoke this for quite a while. And the Monopolies will give us a boost to our loyalty while not getting a boost to the influence level. I don't even know if I can give out aristocratic counselors. I don't think I can afford it. So we won't do that. Would we want to flip orthodox? No, I think I think we'll stay Catholic. I think that's fine. Which means we'll give out... Enforce Unity of the Faith. And that should allow us to start converting these provinces... It'll be a little slow, but we can do what we can do. Uh, we'll go ahead and go with a prestige guy. We will go with the trade efficiency guy. And we can go with the land maintenance modifier guy, I guess. We'll just take the cheap ones. 
Uh, we need more seats in the Sejum, so... I was going to say, I went with the Monopoly on the mining, so... We won't do that, and Krakow already has a seat, so... Maybe we'll go with the Trade Centers, actually. So, we'll give Trade Centers seats for now. Oh, that's owned by Apollo. You guys can get one. It's owned by them as well. You guys can also have one. And then we'll base it on goods. So you, and we're good there. All right. Now we can't do any wars until our, until we settle our interregnum, which is going to allow us to get a PU in Lithuania, which is perfectly fine by me. That's going to be a big help to us early on. Um, otherwise, with Bohemia, they're rivaled Hungary and the Teutons. You guys are rivaled to Venice and Bohemia. So the good news is that our targets won't be able to ally each other early on. Good news. Bad news is it doesn't look like we're going to get much help against them. I could look to improve relations with Venice, but that might draw me into wars with um, the Ottomans, which I don't want to do right away. I guess I'll just start improving relations with our subject and with the Pope. Since we're staying Catholic, I think that's a good idea. Okay, and then, so... We're going to need to insult them, and oh, we need two allies as well. Well, the Pope's going to be one ally, and who's going to be our other ally? Brandenburg? Sure. So we'll get time moving along. Sure, we'll go ahead and roll Mary Brandenburg. That's fine. We can roll marry our subject. Now we're just looking to royal marry, or not royal, to ally the Pope. That will be a big help to us early on. How much would it cost us to just buy indulgence for our sins? Boom. There we go. That alliance is in. I could have been impatient for it, but I wanted to get the plus one uh, ticking Pope points. All right. So we're basically just waiting for the Lithuania thing to happen. I could at least for the time being turn down my army maintenance and consider recruiting a Merc company. We have no army professionalism, so that is on our side. We need to have 90% of our force limit, which is 28. So we would need, like, what, the free company? I don't think that'd be quite enough. Maybe go with the Lithuanian company? Yeah, hopefully we get the interregnum taken care of shortly. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this fort for the time being. 
that'll get us in the positive so we'll just keep our money floating in a decent spot we're also going to need to insult bohemia for varna aftermath i will take 30 ducats yes please So, France and England are at war. Raise the noble host. Alright, that'll give us some claims, so... I'll take that. And in the meantime, I guess we should just improve relations with Moldavia. Hopefully we can get them to be our march as well. And we are, see, it's always tempting. There's a 666 six, six here. But no, we want to have our PU on Lithuania. That's going to be a huge help for us. And now that that is taken care of, all we need to do is scornfully insult Bohemia. So we can stop improving with the Pope. We'll go ahead and... Yeah, I think scornfully insulting them is fine. And that will give us restoration of Union CBs on Hungary and Bohemia. And then I think Hungary would be the smart target first. They are allied to Austria. So... Oh, we have a truce with them? Oh, and Austria won't help these guys, so never mind. You are the target. Hopefully that stays true. And it does. So, Restoration of Union on you guys. Thank you. We'll kind of retreat for a minute. <laughs> Let the Lithuanians do their thing for now. Um, I will send you guys the money. Oh man, how lucky is that? Oh jeez. I don't know if I've ever gotten that event without um, restarting any of the times I've ever played as Poland. So, boom, Wallachian in March. Um, I think I'm fine with them being a March. That's that's actually okay with me for now. What I want to put out strong duchies. Probably. It's a little painful on the influence front. But we should be able to make it work. And let's go ahead now. And do what we need to do here. That's a big win there. We'll get the Lithuanian company and one of our armies on their capital and the other army can just hang back and chill. Try and siege down Prague quickly. Boom, Prague's done. Dogpile in this army. Dogpile in these armies. Siege down some more of their country. Uh, Moldavia is working on Gozlar. So in the meantime, we'll just keep sieging down Bohemia. And then we can just hang back. 
We'll let our subjects handle them. Oh! Actually, never mind. Let's, uh, let's deal with this army that's hanging out over here. Sieging down my provinces. Okay, our truce with these guys is up in 1449. So we're definitely going to need to get that taken care of pretty quickly as well. Uh, free stability, I will take that. And some papal influence also, thank you. Go ahead and let my armies do their, th or my subjects do their thing. Gozlar is taken care of. Oh, no, we don't want to declare war on a random HRE member. What we want to do is take money, war reps, trade power, and uh, just end a relation there. Give us some prestige. Thank you very much. And then we have 100% in Bohemia. So let's restore our union with them. And then take as much money as we can get. And that sounds good to me. So that is going to be a little bit of aggressive expansion, but, you know, nothing really frightening. Not as frightening as you would expect. And Throne of Bohemia will give us an event. And we're going to want to improve relations with them immediately. Uh, and then let's go ahead and rival Muscovy and Austria. Since Austria is allied to Hungary, we can get a humiliate off on them. So improve relations with Bohemia. Now then. We could consider attacking the Muscovites and get rid of get them weakened very early. Because they already did attack... Wow, Novgorod got absolutely crushed. Absolutely crushed. But I don't think that's worth our time. I want to get Hungary under our, under our control quickly. So Bohemia's Liberty Desire will get taken care of on its own. We can stop improving with Modavia. And we can also stop improving with Mazovia. Um, I am just going to now, at this point, set one for Outraged Countries. Yep, doesn't look like they were going to do anything, so... Alright. Uh, we'll start building up a spy network then on Hungary, because they are our next target. We're doing good on money, too, which is very nice. October, November, so November 11th. Sweden wants us to support their independence. The Teutons, Burgundy, and Muscovy are already supporting it. Sure. Um, Burgundy, I didn't think about Burgundy earlier on. That is disappointing. That's very disappointing. Um, we'll go ahead and extend those loans. And we can... Summon a diet... Subjugation of Volgast, huh? That would call in Austria and all their boys. Hungary, we're, well, we don't want to start a war with that because... We need to deal with them. Let's go ahead and do this, and I think I can repay all my loans. Yes, I can. So, boom. And then we can seize land. And we should go ahead and... He was, what, this guy? Or was he a Master of the Mint? half price Master of the Mint I will take. And then these two will feed off each other. We might be able to get um, radical reforms fairly early. 
And I think we'll call you back for now. Our truce with Hungary is up. So, let's continue converting our Orthodox provinces. And now we will use our Restoration of Union CB on Hungary. Now, this, this could cause some issues. That is uh, almost certain. Um, let's kind of play a hang back and see mentality at the moment. We'll let our subjects get in there and do their thing. Uh, Luca has spawned the Renaissance. Oh. Okay, the Austrians actually had a lot of men there. I was not expecting that. Hang on up here and recover your morale. Well, I don't want to lose my diplomatic advisor, that's for sure. Admin and Diplotech for innovativeness. Boom, boom. That will be a nice boost to us. Okay, they are wrecking our subjects right now. Uh, I'll just take the money. And we can call Brandenburg in, so let's do that. Oh man, alright. Let's get our burger loans back up. Yeah, Austria is kicking pretty hard right now. Oh, did they jump on me? Oh, that is just rude. That is just absolutely rude. All right. Mark up then. That's what we do. Uh, we'll let that happen. Military tech for innovativeness as well. Boom. Thank you. So tech advantage. We don't have a general though. I don't know if I want to make Casimir a general just yet. You know what, why not? Let's get him in there. Let's recover this. We're going to have to deal with these uh, rebels real quick. Boom. Alright, and then let's get over here and deal with the Austrians before they cause any more major damage. Radical reforms, boom, there it is. Well, I don't want to lose my half price guy, so let's not get rid of him. Okay, yeah, we'll just fire both of them, get our free points, and then rehire both of them. That's good, and then...
Yeah, Austria has lost quite a few men at this point. Good. We're still improving with Burgundy. We're still improving with Bohemia. Bohemia is loyal now, so they should be helpful. not the greatest to be focusing on unseaging a province at the moment, but it's the best we got. Let's see, we can have three generals. Let's get Casimir off of this army and put him here and then you guys head down here and squash them in pest. Or if they don't want to be in pest, really rebels. Rebels at one of the worst possible times. Um, keep our guy in charge. Take some extra admin points. Let's try and deal with the Austrians again. Oh my goodness gracious. Took Prague back. Took care of the pretenders. back up here we'll deal with these guys get them at least off of our fort work on another one of the Austrian forts Jeez. You know, I did forget that I was part of this, uh... War for Independence. Stack wipe on there. Now let's go attack their income.
and we should be able to get Austria out at this point. And the main point was this, and money and war reps. If we take a little less money, yeah, boom. It gets Austria out of the war. And then we just need to get, oh, I guess Bergens was their vassal. Oh yeah, okay. All right, now we just focus fire on Hungary. And hopefully our subjects and allies can handle the forts. Uh, it looks like Venice has attacked them as well, so we'll be inheriting a war against Venice. Uh, Bohemia is loyal. Yeah, Burgundy is getting smacked by France right now. So it looks like the Burgundian inheritance is not going to be the best idea, and it does look like the French are going to be quite powerful in this campaign. We haven't embraced Renaissance, but we could take na our next um, idea group, or we could take our next tech. I might as well. I'm paying a little bit more for it, but we might as well do that. And then... It's so hard not to go with my normal opener. <laughs> it's so hard not to do it. We're going to do it. Innovative ideas. I can't help it. I, I just... It's so good. Um... Alright, we won't change our focus or anything just yet. Uh, actually, we will. We'll start focusing on admin. We can go ahead and put the grand company up here. We'll put this company down here. Focus over here. Uh, looks like Sweden is losing their independence war. Dith Martian pieced out though. Burgundy is absolutely getting wrecked. They must not got a, must not have gotten any strong allies. Sweden and Brittany. Jeez. Okay, so this is related to here. So if we accept it and we have five privileges granted so we complete Golden Liberty mission giving extra loyalty equilibrium. Magnet nobles. Cost of parliamentary bribes reduced. Yeah, that's just going to be another thing to deal with. I think we have to reject it. We could take Diplo Tech as well. Let's do it. Might as well. Let's go ahead and extend the monopolies just for the time being. We can start a debate and go with. Um, first off, good question right now. If we get our union here, 
that's going to irritate a lot of people. So let's go ahead and get the diplomat. We don't even have to do anything to get it. And then we need to start improving relations with these bigger countries. So we'll start with Venice. The Palatinate and Saxony. So. Venice. Saxony. And the Palatinate. Boom, boom, boom. Improve relations with them. Uh, how badly did Burgundy get smacked? Not as bad as I thought they would. And I could roll marry them now. I think that's definitely something we should do. Why not fish for an extra personal union, right? We should be able to deal with these rebels. I was going to say as soon as we open up one of our armies. Lunenburg has pieced out. Oh wait, Hungary took all of that already. Oh, it's going to be a big Hungary. We are going to have a big, big ol' Hungary. And we are going to inherit quite the war. So let's get this taken care of. This will immediately jump us into a war. They're at war with Venice, Naxos, and Siena. So this is going to be quite a bit of war exhaustion. Let's go ahead and peace you out. Take our union. Take a bunch of money. Call it a day. We'll deal with whatever coalition happens. But one of the biggest things is we can call our allies to arms here to defend our rightful clay. Uh, we'll protect Hungary, so... Development of Brand Castle by one. Hungary loses 20% liberty desire. Every own province with military building will gain one base manpower. Okay, so now we need to improve relations with them. And we need to immediately get on the... These guys. And I think the most hilarious part of all of this is Austria is allied to us in this war. Oh, that's awesome. Croatia asks for help. Sure, we'll just do that. Go ahead and jump on these armies. A little bit of a coalition. So we need to um, start improving with outrage countries. Quite a bit of war exhaustion as well. So that is not the greatest thing. It's a lot of countries in the coalition, but there are a lot of small countries, so... I'm not super concerned about them. My biggest concern at this point is making sure that we um, get Hungary loyal again. I'm just going to extend my loans. Go ahead and deal with those pretender rebels. And we can go ahead and get these guys taken care of. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to end this episode. We can finish this up in the next one. So, um, if you like the episode, I'd appreciate it. Like, if you really like the episode, I'd appreciate the subscription. If you're really excited for the series, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you're, what you're excited about. What do you like playing about Poland? Um, and, uh, just, yeah, in general, say hi if you want to. Um, 
But uh, that's a good place to end the episode. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.